I'm a former Olympic athlete, a sprint cyclist. It's short distance, power, and speed. It's about beating your opponents one by one in a series of races to get to the winner's circle. This kind of pressure, this kind of mentality is what I call the champion's mind. You can't be timid, hold anything back, and have to have access to your full potential. And the only way to access your full potential is do what it takes to become your own champion. Leave it all on the field. I'm Dr. Jeff Spencer, and this is my Oxford talk. My cycling career's defining moment was at the United States Grand Prix, my first race against the Olympic champions. Olympic champions aren't average people, but thoroughbreds calibrated to win at the top. On the starting line, the Olympic champion was on my right, wearing a gold jersey with the iconic Olympic interlocking rings on each shoulder, and the world champion, a former three-time Olympic gold medalist, was on my left, wearing a white jersey with the rainbow colors symbolizing the world around his torso. To beat these heroes I wanted to emulate, I knew that I had to put every ounce of my energy into every pedal stroke from start to finish, holding nothing back. Bang! I rocketed off the starting line in first place. I powered my way down the back stretch and was leading coming out of the last corner, headed towards the finish line for the win, when the Olympic champion behind me on my right gave me a left elbow jab to my right hip, breaking my momentum for a split second that allowed the world champion to move up alongside me on my left, where we battled neck and neck to the finish line for the win, and the world champion won. Though I got the silver medal, it was really my gold medal, knowing that since I beat the Olympic champion, I could become an Olympian, my childhood dream. And a few months later, I won the Olympic trials, became an Olympian to fulfill that dream. Leaving it all on the field is so much more than tactics, tools, and technology. It's about having the certainty that you've got the right goal and trajectory to win. It's having the clarity you're making the correct moves while using less energy and effort to win. And it's about the confidence gained knowing that you're taking the shortest path at the fastest pace to win. And experiencing that, you'll know without a doubt that you'll repeatedly win by leaving it all on the field. And at that point, it's game over. It's only a matter of time. Leaving it all on the field is a learned skill, and I've created a process, the champion's ladder, to consistently win that isn't just for Olympians, but for anybody who wants to win over a lifetime, living a life of fulfillment, and leaving their best legacy. This ladder builds your capacity to win, so you know with absolute conviction that you'll win by leaving it all on the field. The champion's ladder is composed of five performance competencies to perform at your highest potential. Each competency has its own process. Us humans have two mentalities hardwired into our DNA that are competing 24 hours a day for control over our decision making. The first mentality is what I call the human mindset. It's a rigid, non-modifiable set of beliefs that tell us a doomsday story that prompts us to either fight or flee the doomsday outcome faster than we can think. And that keeps us stuck in the fight or flee fear loop that prevents us from moving forward to reach our goals. The good news is, rung one on the ladder, the champion's mind, is engineered to produce excellence by applying historic wisdom to present circumstances. When I was racing the champions and the race clock was counting down to the start, I had to make the conscious decision right then and there on the spot to step into my champion's mind. And when that happens, a life of repeat success becomes possible. If you can't control your day, you can't control your life, making it virtually impossible to perform at your potential, be a leader, have high daily productivity, or achieve your goals in the least time. Controlling your day, rung two on the ladder, requires maintaining the three phases of the champion's perfect day process. Prepare, perform, recover. And this is achieved by doing your daily personal and professional activities in sync with your body's natural hormone, digestion, sleep, and neurotransmitter rhythms that together increase energy, maximize productivity, enhance focus, and accelerate daily recovery to perform at your highest level day in and day out like clockwork. 
Winning is a learned skill and the outcome of deliberate actions consistently applied. The champion's golden rule to be a perpetual winner is do the homework and the test is easy. The champion's success roadmap is a two-part process to first properly prepare to start pursuing a goal from the highest state of readiness. A big risk to success in legacy creation is repeating the mistakes of others from not having learned from history what the future opportunities and risks are and being blindsided from the lack of readiness to successfully engage what is most likely to happen. Seeing what is coming is rung four on the ladder. The life lens progression shows the driver, motive, purpose, strength, and liability of each decade and how we will most likely think, what we will value most, and how we will respond to life. Knowing the progression enhances intergenerational communication and understanding, patience with ourselves and others, and knowledge of how to best invest in ourselves throughout a lifetime to live the highest quality life possible. The most precious resource to creating a life of value and contribution is momentum. Rung five on the champion's ladder is maintaining momentum. The greater the momentum, the higher the quality and volume of goals achieved. Stair-stepping is the process to conserve energy, keep teams unified, and stay on purpose to zone pace. Zone pacing is the highest possible speed to maintain peak productivity indefinitely without blowing yourself or your team up. The secret to zone pacing is to alternate high energy output efforts to achieve objectives, goals, and targets, and then pull back to embed the financial, cultural, and methodology gains into the fabric of the business or life so that the gains stick. And once the embedding is complete, the effort embed process is repeated until the goal is achieved. To become your own champion requires ascending the champion's ladder in a very special way where all rungs of the ladder are developed simultaneously as a single synergistic system that grows exponentially over time by gaining access to the elusive one or two percent that enables you to live a life of passion, purpose, productivity, and prosperity while making your greatest impact on the world and humanity.